Washing dishes is a religious activity, at least according to mathematician Alfred Whitehead, who defined religion as what an individual does with his solitariness. The warm water running between my fingers, my chest gently expanding with every breath, the symphony of sound as the water plays different parts and vessels. This mindfulness is a practice of presence in the present. Each stain carries a story. The remnants of Saturday's pasole made by my friend Joey's mom reminds me of spending time with the Barajas clan during graduation weekend. Their stories of resilience and hope in the midst of storms. Kumquat slices from our chung that went bad reminds me of plucking them from my in Lost Garden in Riverside, California. I see my father shoving them into his pockets on his first visit to the States because they were so expensive in Oman, where I used to live. The flower stains remind me of when we had friends over last week for sourdough crusted pizzas that my wife made. Not that I think about all these things as I wash dishes. I'm usually thinking about a million other things, but once in a while, if I'm lucky, I'm just thinking about washing dishes. Living in a culture here in America where capitalism is religion, rest is sin, and hustle his holiness. Washing dishes or making my filter copy reminds me that the ordinary is not evil, but the foundation upon which all other experiences flow. That the most important thing about the mundane is not its potential usefulness, but its presence in your gently unfolding story. As a follower of the way, during these mundane yet meaningful moments, I'm reminded that reality is not a commodity to exploit, but oftentimes can be a companion to befriend. And that's why I believe